James, you so nearly had that one. Yeah, I mean, at halfway, felt as if we were probably 10 or 15 light, but it wasn't as good a batting pitch as we can sometimes get here. So, knew we had to come out and start well, and we, I think, for the majority of that innings, we were we did everything right and we're well on top. But um, yeah, Blake's come in and played a pretty special knock at the end there. Um, it was a few periods to the spinners in the middle where we could have got him out. He, Top edged a few, missed a few, edged a few. Um, things seemed to go his way, and then you know, credit to him at the end. His last couple of balls uh, weren't a million miles off what we were planning to do, and he managed to get them over the road. They needed, what, 21 off 12, then Carl Abbott bought that great penultimate over for five. Yeah, it was a brilliant over. Um, humming and ahhing a bit between you know, which over to bowl Abbott and which over to bowl Woody, but um, Abbott had been bowling well that end, so start with eight, bowled a really good over, and then, yeah, you know, I feel a bit for Woody. He didn't, like I said, didn't do a huge amount wrong. Um, yeah, missed by a fraction, and yeah, like I said, to be fair to Blake, he, he capitalised and put them away. I mean, 16 off the last over isn't a lot these days, but it's still a lot, isn't it? Uh, yeah, and on that pitch, I guess, you know, he's, he's hurt us a little bit in the past when he's been in at the back end. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, we haven't won, but we've done a lot of stuff right there. And, um, yeah, especially in the field, I felt the guys with the ball did a really good job. You mentioned about the pitch there, 145 for five from you guys. We, we, we expect a little bit more, don't we, innings-wise here? Yeah, I think so. I think we only got 30 off our last five overs. I think that was an area um, where we could have picked up a, you know, we see how tight the games are, an extra four or five runs, 10 runs, um, could have been a difference, but um, we didn't, so we, the way we came out and looked to defend that score, I think was you know, credit to the lads. Was it a little bit more tough to score on that wicket? Was it a used wicket, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a bit dry underneath. Um, had a little bit of grass on which it helped it keep a bit of the pace in, but um, yeah, it wasn't as consistent as it can be here. Some, some were stopping in the pitch a bit more than others. So um, yeah, from our batting point of view, I think that's what stops us really being able to get going properly. Um, yeah, a tough one to take, but early on in the comps, to move on to Wednesday and hopefully get two points on the board. Then. I know you haven't done a lot of batting over the last six or seven weeks or so, but a half century, you were starting to time it quite nicely by then, weren't you? Yeah, like I say, I haven't batted a huge amount. Um, got my first two balls out the middle and then found it a little bit tricky for a while and then obviously built a partnership with Sam and felt like I you know, had to take a few more risks, got a few over the rope. So yeah, all in all, felt pretty, pretty happy in my game. I know it's very early days, it's only one game, but it would have been nice to have started with a win. <laughs> it would have done, yeah, um, but we haven't, so like I said, still 12 games to go, a long way to go. Um, hopefully we can get two points on Wednesday and start building some momentum from then, from then onwards. Two away games coming up, which I guess makes it slightly tough. Yeah, I think I say every game is a tough game. Um, some are set, you know, playing well in all forms this year, and Sussex are a side that made finals day last year, so there is no easy game. Two tough games away from home, but um, so what can do to us today, we'll try and do that to Sussex and Somerset back in the next week.